guys and we are back more because of a rise where we left off and um let's check out the uh temple because now i'm thinking i'm back thinking back i want to say it probably say no i'm not sure though something feels odd be on your guard <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Finally, some open space again. You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna like it. But it's crazy because it's like, I'm, I don't know. Like, what, what were those that we fought in the Earth Palace? I don't know if they were if they were earth you know what matter of fact matter of fact I say matter of fact I know exactly what I can do I'm gonna go to my favorite place to camp no So thanks, mommy, bruh. Horse sashimi again? You really like that stuff, don't you? Uh, what can I say? It's easy to prepare however you like. What makes it so easy to prepare? It's all about the onion. You can change how you arrange it next to the meat, use less of it, or even take it out altogether. It sounds as though you simply dislike onions. Mm. I don't dislike onions. All I'm saying is the flavor of the meat changes depending on what you do with the onion. Wow, that's true. Somehow I get the feeling you just don't want to admit you're a picky eater. I agree. Here, you can have all my onions. Maybe you'll discover some new flavor for this dish you've never had. Just don't. That's... Rinwell, stop. Well then, how does it taste? All I taste is onions. Yeah. I don't like onions either. I'm with law. <laughs> let's, hang, uh, let's spend some time with Kisara. Look at how fine, look how she she on that ground. Nah, this is a funny one though. Damn, look at that ass. Jesus. Hulu's gonna be spinning around. <laughs> he gonna get dizzy. Bruh. Start laughing at him. <laughs> Bruh. That's hilarious. Girl, you bending over a little Don't too hard. Holding these clothes, I'll go to You bending over a little too hard, girl. You better watch out. Rise and shine. Before to leave. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and um mm -mm. So we gave ourselves mech. Which is what you know, hey. We've reached our destiny. Alright. I see how this goes. I really don't know what kind of. I don't know what kind of enemies they are. I can't remember.
Oh my god, this shit does say no. My god, bro. Literally fighting the the great the fresh spirits. So enemy what kind of enemies are we dealing with? I can like attune all these fuckers. Okay. So um she to only be doing uh cyclone. No, not what I meant. That's crazy. If you do it enough, you get it. You see that? I art that combines spread and crossblade. That's crazy. That's crazy. To perform it, one art must be charged while the other must be cast. Dang, that's crazy. I didn't even know that was a thing. I want to be doing sign on instant. Okay. Hit it there. Alvin. Alvin. No. No. Alvin's a fucking moron. <laughs> Can we agree? Can we all agree that Alvin is a moron? I gotta get rid of one of my slots because Alfin does not know how to not die. She did Maelstrom and Divine Saber. Oh my god, Renwell. That was amazing. That was amazing, Renwell. That was amazing. He poisoned me. Son of a bitch! Alfin dead again. No fucking wonder. God, Alfin's a fucking moron. Bro. I can't get anywhere because Alfin keeps dying, bro. Like, I fucking hate. Like Alfin Piss man. Let me help. Damn, that's crazy. Despite his his appearance. Despite his appearance. Cause he kinda looks like a fan. I was pushing the button like it's good. Here, Come on. Come on. Seriously, more orbs? They starting to tick me off. Man, that is girl. Oh my god. Oh no. I 
That was some bullshit, boy. Oh, I got it off right when I was about to die. These enemies are literally the game, bro. Literally the worst in the game, bro. <laughs> literally the worst in the game, bro. I'm so sick of Alpha, man. Is this what real pain feels like? Like, I, I feel like I'm hearing that so, so much, bro. Like, Of course, Alpha knows both. Fucking course. Oh my god, Law 2. Law and Alfin, bro. I'm telling you, if you can't count them to die, you can't count on anything else. You can't count on them to do anything else, bro. That was known. I, I can't believe it, but you know, I. So at this point, it's safe to say we've beaten all of those things that we saw flying out of the wedge. Yeah. Yes, there were four lights, so that should be all of them now. They put up a good fight, but we beat them right back down again. <laughs> Weren't you even a little scared while we were fighting them? <laughs> a little. <laughs> but we still managed to beat them with our own hands. That's what matters here. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> I do hope that really is the we see of them. And then Which Miller Mess will show up. Like that'll be crazy. Element. I doubt there are more of them running around out there that we don't know about. Wouldn't you agree? Why did you look at Ohalim when you said that? Right. No big reason. I just figured I stole some of his usual thunder by explaining it. I know how my dad. You know him well at this point. He ain't say not a word. But that was interesting, though. What do you think it was when we what we ran into in there at the end there the big boss of the area most likely his visage resembled that of the rock at the entrance here i described it as more like its main body i could sense a ton of energy whirling around inside of it so it's crazy to think the ruins themselves were an actual zuku because it must have assumed the temple that was buried deep below the surface had made that part of itself. I think so. Although now that we've beaten the core, I don't sense any astral energy circulating anymore. I'd love to probably study that temple sometime when we get the chance, as would I. It's a truly fascinating structure, particularly its architecture. Wait, were we really walking inside a damn Zuko? I'll pass on going back in, thanks. I think somebody gets the title for this. This should be a good place to fight. Wow, Kisara. It's so big. big. You're, You're talking about my shield, right? right? Hell no, we talking about that ass. You see, even girls, you know, nah, it's it's not too, it's not too. What's the word? It's 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 not unlikely. Like like even in Don Aroba, they're so big, some Lugia. You know, like bruh, bruh. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, they were 35s, I think. Yeah, they were. 
I think they were. Hmm. Did you feel us behind all those rare incidents? I believe we determined the source of the phenomenon and managed to exterminate it. We were unable to restore things entirely how they worse were before. But if nothing else, nothing, no more harm should come from it. I know you take care of it. I'm going to tell everyone the good news right now. Thanks, Dolan. I'm glad we read them. Damn, that girl looked good. What's the matter? I was simply wondering if there was a way to haul that stone face back to the sink. Bruh. I think it would it would look rather nice laid out in the courtyard. Bruh. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Bruh. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Alright, so I think Alfin gets a title here. Yes, he does. Vanquisher of the Four Lights. Nigga, don't the four great spirits. She ain't telling me shit. If you if you play Tales, you know Gnome, Sylph, a free and on Dean. But Thunder's Devastation. A hidden art that begins with a sleep a sweeping slash before calling forth a bolt of lightning from the sky with a downward swing. Ooh, that shit sounds immaculate. Damn. That shit sounds immaculate. I ain't gonna this is. Wait, what did we just get? We get an artifact too? A golden suit of armor? It's an artifact. A golden suit of armor with blue flourishes. The brave knight who wore it vanquished the tower guard, saving the princess. Oh, we gotta check that out. Where game is that? The Tower of Druaga. Hmm, super experienced, but you don't say. Yeah, don't fucking say. Well, that's interesting. So, let's go back to... Berg. That's a weird, weird name. Berg. And now we have nothing to... If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. That's crazy, because the, the first time we came here, she didn't react that way. But she just did just then. That's kind of interesting. So I remember saying she should have fell down like she on. Matter of fact. Where's that sexy motherfucker at? Sexy motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I think I took the wrong road. <laughs> I think I took the wrong road. Man, why I feel like she going to be climbing faster than everybody else? Like, what is that about? Yahoo! Hmm. So, how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. No matter where you might be in the world. Let's get it. Let's see where this leads. I've yet to do incineration wave though. I just thought about that. <clears throat> oh wow. Damn dude, it's pretty. It's pretty as fuck out here. Wait, what? A campfire out there? That's weird. Hey, is that it over there? <laughs> wow. He wouldn't have anything new on, would he? Nah, he doesn't. Bro, look. Oh man, it's gonna be a race as if when you get on that ship. <laughs> I 
Where Tales game you? gets a you get a Did you remember something? You get an airship at some point. No, but, but I have seen this starship before. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenigus. I know he's about to touch that. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. This man just already knew. I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. The past meets the present. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah, but you've got us now, Alfin. Dad, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of his shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Thanks, you guys. All right, Dohoim, what's 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 the stat report? How does it look? It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. Side quest. How much time are we talking here? Stars are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait. I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. <laughs> oh, but. How about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Mm-hmm. Maybe quests are open. Once we leave, we should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Let's stay with you. <clears throat> I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me. The hell was that, Shion? Wait until the ship is ready for takeoff, huh? started this thing did you ever imagine we'd be going to Blenigus? oh this is the sort of thing i was rebelling against when i ran away from home right i'm sure zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now and a shock too we're to find the order of things that have persisted 300 years <laughs> deep down i knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenigus. right i did too yeah you may be but you're a renin of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Xion and Dohali, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenigus and the Red World leave Dana alone. I don't think we'll be able to fight. Is there no way to talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenigus? Sure. sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Xion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Men and Suet, then why can't because we? Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and Natrena reigns over Dana. Hmm. There are those on Lenigus who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dan. What happens next is on them. <laughs> right. What happens next is on them. <laughs> right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman are on Lenigus. Wherever she is, we should find the Lenis Almond, too. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. 
She got some pretty legs, bruh. <laughs> uh, yeah. God damn. I wasn't gonna say it, but shit, I got to now. She they kept showing the shit. What's up, Shion? For real. She still ain't like saying shit. Damn, the fire is out. Bleh. Where's she on it? Where? I knew it. Where's she on it? I just I said it, bro. Blind dead ass playthrough. She always be walking off. Oh damn, she is she she probably in the ship. She always be walking the fuck off. Gion got how could she just go off on her There she go. She always doing that crazy shit. Huh? Huh? But why? What? You okay? Just now, it looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? Mm -mm. <laughs> Bro. Stay out of my way. Bruh. She's leaving. She's taking a ship. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Mm. Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! I won't let you on it. I mean it. I refuse to let you on it. Mm. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case. Go ahead and shoot me! Girl, what is the problem? Talk! Damn it! Where the fuck was y'all at? <laughs> Goddamn. She was about to toast my ass. Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Volron? Yeah. That wasn't the first time. Hmm? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often. She wants to could die. So you're immortal? How's that even? He's like, hold up. <laughs> I believe you, Sean. But tell me how how is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same thought. They're part of me. I have no idea why. My thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. So shit, you need to keep them bitches. Damn, that's crazy. <gasps> Damn, she wants to die. A darkness that swallows up everything and remains. Damn, I call that. She wants to die.
You wanna die. Damn. I knew it. That was the plan. But then I met all of you. And I before I knew it, I didn't want any more. Find a way to save you. There's still time. It's pointless. Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, it will consume all of existence as well. It was only a suspicion at first. But ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. You're getting out of control? came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. Damn. But they don't anymore. Damn. They're out of control. Fuck. Damn. Every day, I feel the thorns' power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens, soon. And not to be by yourself. You planned to find the Renaissance on your own and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's too much. It's way too much. When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I... But I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met. Then I would not sway. She know me. I like this actor, bro. For real, dead ass. Fight until we end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Even if it should mean that it'll be the end of everything else too. Hmm. That song again. I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenius and unlock the truth of what's That song is pretty as fuck, bro. It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the song is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. Look at her. Right. <laughs> Look at her. No matter what happens from now on, I'm right here with you. 
All of us are. You are not alone. I love that song, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. That song is clean. Mm -hmm. Alright, so um, I'm thinking we're probably gonna end the episode out here. Oh god, we can't fast travel. Never mind. <laughs> never, never mind. Let's talk to everybody. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. I believe she mm -mm -mm. is telling the truth. Mm -mm -mm. What about you? Mm -mm -mm. As a friend, yes, I want to believe her. Everything that's happened seems to point towards some sort of great danger that's lurking ahead of us. Still, it's hard to fathom something that could usher outright doom to the world. That those really are the stakes we... No, I understand. Even Shion doesn't seem to know exactly what will happen to bring it all about. We have so many pieces of the puzzle in our hands. So many clues. Yet the complete picture remains us. So where do our thoughts fit in there? Well, I imagine they must sit at the very center of it all. You remember the voice we all heard while we were inside the wedge, don't you? Yeah, I remember. It was the will of Dana's astral energy come to life. Well, that's what we all thought. Right. And from that, we're able to hypothesize how vast concentrations of astral energy can be obtained. Let's return to when we found Xion in Pelegion. When her thorns went wild, they contained far more astral energy than any mere Renin would normally have inside them. Mm -hmm. So you think those thorns might be alive too? That their will is what keeps her from dying? But why would they want to destroy the entire world? As for that, I really cannot say for certain. Goals still remain a mystery. It may be a mere fluke that her maiden powers have been able to contain a thar. You know, I've noticed since we've met that you like figuring out riddles. <laughs> Can you blame me? Right. Can you blame me? That the world they once thought to be true is but a mere facade. They can't help but seek the truth. Especially when that has led to others getting hurt. To Halim? I imagine the remaining pieces of the puzzle that we seek are within Lenigus. As for what the final picture will look like, who can say? I think it's best we not dwell on it too much for the time being. Right. right. Your fine ass. How are you holding up? Who, me? Yes, you. You took a hit from those thorns again, didn't you? Oh, that? That was nothing. Compared to what Xion's going through, you mean? Still, even if you yourself might be willing to endure that kind of pain, that doesn't mean Xion wants to have to see you get hurt by her thorns, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know. I'll be careful. Xion doesn't know how lucky she is to have you around, you know? Dashing in to save her at the last minute. Mm. Yeah, yeah, very funny. <laughs> serious. You went up and held her close like you still had that mask on. And you didn't even bat him. Bruh. She really needed that. That's what I mean when I said you saved her. Just like you did with the rest of us. I just want for Xion what we all have. The ability to touch someone without the fear of killing them. 
Those stones have robbed her of the kind of everyday things we all take for granted. And it's not right. Mm. You can say that again. It may be normal for us, but that doesn't make it any less special or important for her. I hope she gets what she wants. I... But a world without her, where she dies so we can all survive, isn't a world I want to live in. Aww. It's like more and more keeps getting taken from her, and I'm done with it. Mmm. So I'm done with it. Like, bro, I like Alfin, bro. Like, I like his personality. Like, him in combat, he just be doing dumb shit. Damn you, Alfin. But, but, but him as a character? Like, as a main character? Fire. Straight fire. Like, I like how... Man, like, when he gets... Like, when he gets heated, he's heated, bruh. Can't sleep. After everything we just heard? How could I? Yeah, that was a, a low enough. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> deal with so much on her own. Even when we were all laughing and celebrating, she just kept quiet and didn't say anything. I thought she was keeping her distance because of her thorns. That it was because she didn't want to hurt anybody by getting too close. I just figured that that was the type of person she was, you know? But it turned out to be none of that. All this time, she felt like she had to die and sacrifice herself for the greater good. But even then, she didn't think she could say anything to us about it. I know. She was so alone this entire time. How could I call her a friend and yet be so completely blind to everything she was going through? Aww. I'm sure it made her happy knowing you were there for her. You really think so? Yeah, I do. If she didn't think of us as friends, I don't think she could have ever opened up to us like that. You were a good friend to her before, and you'll be an even better one now. Yeah, I really hope so. I want to be the best I can for her. When you think about it, we were all alone in our own way. Yeah. But over time, we've all found ways to let each other into our lives. I hope Xion's able to do that one day too. No, I mean... I hope she's able to do that more. Lots and lots more. I think it'd be really nice if we could all just be there to support each other when it really counts. And forget about our grudges and pain. Finwell. Nice said, Rimwell. Nicely said. Kinda glad you over. Oh man, look at her. Kinda glad you over all that, you know racist stuff and of course we left my boy last but you know what i think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode out here or i might just put this in the next episode to be honest hmm that's interesting you know what yeah we're gonna end it right here so it doesn't get too long but um, until then, I will catch you guys later for more Tales of Arise. It's getting crazy. It is getting crazy. But in the best way possible, obviously. Man, you're over there? That's crazy. Damn, I think that's Ganeth Haros. You can still see it. That's crazy. Yeah, that's definitely Ganeth Haros. I wonder if you can see any other uh, Cal systems. That's crazy, you can still see it like that. You know how high up it's gotta be? But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and end it right here. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. But until then, I'll catch you guys later for more Tales of Arise.